I'm going to show you exactly how to create communities within Go High Level. So first you want to navigate to the sub account in which you want to create a community. So I'm using Tyrant Empire as an example. And then if you navigate over to the memberships tab, just click on that. It'll bring you to the community groups. So here I have my pre-existing community group, the Tyrant Empire. Community for tyrants, those who are looking to conquer their lives. It's a free community. If you feel like you can conquer your life in all aspects, become a tyrant. The link to join is down below. But we are going to create a new group. So we're just going to click create group here. Then the group name, let's do test group. It's going to auto populate with the URL. You can also change that if you want. Then the group description, do hello YouTube. Then obviously the group name will show up here. The URL slug will show up here. So Tyrant Empire. And then the group description will show up in here. Then you can change the brand colors. You can change the favicon, which will show up up here. Then you have the cover image, which will be this thing right there. Then you have the logo, which will show up here among a couple other places that you'll see in a bit. So go ahead and upload those. All right, so after we upload those, we just scroll down and then just create the group. And then once you create it, it'll bring you to the dashboard within the community. So from here, you can access the different groups. Since we are in the Tyrant Empire sub account, we have access to the Tyrant Empire group there. Then we also, within the test group that I've created, we also have different channels. We have the home, then we have announcements, and then we can also add a new one. So depending on what your community is about, you can have something like self-improvement, then strong body, strong mind, something like that. And then with the icon, we can do something like a heart for help. Then we create that. And so now we have an announcements channel, a self-improvement channel. We can throw in a few other channels too. So when we go to make a post, we can do, this is a test post, hello world. Then you can add an image, you can add a video, you can add an attachment or any sort of file can add a link, an emoji, and you can also select what channel you want to publish this to. So we'll just keep it in announcements. So now our post is viewable there. You can like it, you can add a comment, add a photo, etc. So that is all within the discussion tab. You also have the learning tab. If you have any courses created within your sub account, you can add them to the community. So for example, I have the high level masterclass, which is a free course that goes over everything about high level the link is down in the description. So I could add this course to the community since it is in the same sub account. And you can also set the subscription type. You can have it free. You can have it recurring monthly payments, or you can have a one-time fee. And you can add the price, the currency, add a trial period if you want, and then you can change the billing period. And you can toggle test mode on or off if you want to test anything without using actual money. Now, if we go to the members tab, this is pretty self-explanatory. This is just where you see all the members within the community. You can see all the active members. You can go to any of the admins, any of the contributors, anyone requesting to be approved, be able to join the community, and then anyone who's been banned. The leaderboard is where you will see the different levels of engagement and the distribution amongst all your members to the different levels. Then you'll see the, the weekly leaderboard, the monthly leaderboard, as well as the all time leaderboard. And here you can also add rewards for the gamification, which I'll show you in just a sec. So if we go back to the discussion, then we go to the settings for the community. This is where you can edit all the settings within your community. So you can change the name, you can change the URL slug, you can change the description, you can change whether it's a public or a private community. Then you can also toggle on whether it is accessible from this little menu over here, which I will do right now. And then subscriptions, you can change the pricing for the community. So you can have a free price, and then you can also add in a recurring price. The branding, you can change any of these elements that we've already configured when we, cr when we created the group, such as the favicon, the cover image, and the group logo. Then in the advanced tab, you can also add any custom JavaScript or custom CSS or any of the tracking code. The themes, this is where you can really customize the look of your community. So you have a light mode and a dark mode. You can also change the theme of the branding. So you can go with any of the pre-existing color schemes, or you can go over here to the custom themes and you can customize them completely to your branding. Now, bear in mind, if you are in the dark mode or the light mode, the theme will be applied to that mode that you have selected. So for example, if I'm in dark mode, I can change all the coloring for the dark mode. And then I can switch into light mode and change all the coloring for the light mode. So when someone toggles dark mode or light mode on or off, these themes will be applied. 
The membership questions are just that. You can add a question for anyone who wants to join the community to answer prior to them being accepted into the community. So you can have a text, a single select, or a multiple select. A text box. Text box is pretty self-explanatory. Text box will allow them to type in their answer. So why do you want to join? They will just type out their reason. A single select, you can input pre-existing options for them to select from, but they can only select one of them. Whereas multiple select is the same concept, however, they can select multiple options. Then the gamification and rewards section, this is where you can change the name of each level. You can have up to nine different levels. And then rewards, you can add rewards depending on the tier. So you can give people discounts, you can give people access to courses, you can grant people certificates. There's a ton of stuff you can do with these. And now links, you can add a link and this will be visible to all community members on the dashboard. So for example, the Tyrant Empire, I have the Discord link right here. So that way anyone can click this link and be brought immediately to the Discord exclusively for the Tyrant Empire community. And then reported content, you can view any of the reported content here that your members may have reported as malicious or inappropriate or anything of the sort. And so other than that, up here, again, we have the light and dark mode toggle button. Then we have the menu here to where you can go to communities, you can access the courses directly or go to the affiliate dashboard. Then here you have your notifications. And then here is where you can access your profile. So if we go into my profile, can upload your profile picture, change your name, add a title. Then with social media, you can add your number, you can add your email, and then you can add your various URLs for your social media accounts. Then certificates, if there are any certificates that you've created for your community members, this is where they can be displayed. And so then if we click on this little home button, it'll bring us to the home dashboard. So this is essentially the home page of the client portal, which we will cover next. We have the banner image there, and then we have the logo that we've selected. Then we have our account, our contact information there, our social media handles, the amount of groups that we're in, the amount of courses we've completed. And then if we are part of any affiliate programs, we can track the amount of money that we've earned here. And we can also access the groups, take our courses, and access our affiliate programs in here as well. So we've already covered the group dashboard. We can go to the course dashboard and here we can see all the courses that are part of the tyrant empire account which at the time of recording this is only the high level master class and then if we go into the affiliate dashboard there are no affiliate programs there are no affiliate programs for the tyrant empire at the moment but if there were we would be able to view that information here we'd be able to see all the data all the analytics for our affiliate campaigns. See how much money we made, how many leads we've gotten, whether or not we have any pending or paid commissions. Then also in the media tab, we'd be able to access any of the marketing material for the affiliate program. So that is everything within the community dashboard. So now if we go back and we go over to sites and funnels, and then we click on the client portal, the client portal is what our members will be using to log into our community. So from this dashboard, you have the link to the client portal here. You can generate a magic link to the portal, you can invite to the client portal, and then you can also send the login information as well. If we go into the client portal settings, this is where we can configure the domain, the branding, and the app permissions for the client portal. So if we go into domain setup, by default, your subdomain will look something like this, a bunch of gibberish. But if you have your domain connected to your account, then you can add a subdomain for your client portal. So for example, for tyrantempire.com, I have the subdomain tyrant.tyrantempire.com for the client portal. So if anyone goes to this, they will be brought to this page here so they can log in. And once they log in, they will be brought to this page. Now, if we go to branding, this is where we add our branding for the client portal. So here we have the name the Tyrant Empire. If we go back, it's the Tyrant Empire right there. So it will be visible right there. The portal description, skill building, business, networking, mindset, skill building, business, networking, mindset. So you can see where all this is going to be applied. Brand color one, you see it'll be applicable there. Brand color two, and then you also have the favicon, the portal image, portal image there, favicon up here, the banner image, which is this thing here, the logo, which is the right there. And you can also have your email address show up on the client portal page in addition to any copyright. So you can have your copyright here and then support email will be over here. Then in the advanced tab, 
as usual, you can add your custom JavaScript, your custom CSS, and any tracking code. And then lastly, the app permissions. So by default, all of these will be toggled on. If you only want to have the community aspect, you can toggle courses and affiliates off. So you only have communities. So when someone's in the client portal, they'll only be able to join a group. There wouldn't be any courses or any affiliates. So you can toggle this on and off however you like. And then the default landing page. So when someone logs in, where do you want to bring them? By default, home, it makes the most sense, but you also might want them to immediately be brought to the community page or the courses page or even the affiliate page, whatever you want. So hopefully you found this helpful. If you did find this helpful and you want to see more videos just like this, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you join the Tyrant Empire community if you want to be surrounded by individuals who are aiming to conquer their lives in all realms. And don't forget, you also get the high-level masterclass, 100% free. It goes over everything you need to know from start to finish to make you a high-level master. The link to that and all the other goodies are down in the description. As always, I love and appreciate all of you. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, keep conquering.